Good morning, ESM. I'm Avery. And I'm Todd. You know, Todd, I was really impressed with you and your role, you know, in the lead in Greece. Thank but you. Uh, you don't have your own Disney show on Disney Plus. What? Let's see who does. Elena? You know what, Todd? I thought you did a great job. But a 15-year-old uh, actor from Oswego County Stars is the main role in the new Disney Plus musical, Better Nate Than Ever. Ruby Wood plays the role of Nate Foster, a kid from Pittsburgh that dreams to be a big Broadway star. In other news, the House Committee investigating the January 6th riot at the Capitol is in possession of a number of text messages in which former White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows and the wife of Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas, Ginny Thomas, talk about keeping former President Trump in office. Meadows and Thomas exchanged messages as Trump allies were discussing legally challenging the results of the 2020 election. A student at PS78 in Stapleton, Staten Island, died Wednesday after apparently falling ill and collapsing during gym class. In a letter sent to the PS78 community, Principal Jody Contento confirmed the child's passing. It is with great sadness that I inform you that one of our students passed away today. This is a tragedy for the student's family, our students, and our school community. Our deepest sympathy and condolences go out to the student's family and our entire school community. The child had a pre-existing medical condition, which sources identified as sickle cell anemia. Sickle cell anemia is defined as a group of disorders that cause red blood cells to become misshapen and break down. The cells die early, leaving a shortage of healthy red blood cells and can block blood flow, causing pain. As a follow-up to yesterday's show and talk with Ms. Butenko, Spartan Express has published a number of articles on their website. The website is www.esmschools.com slash Spartan Express. Likewise, you can continue to follow updates on Ms. Butenko's Google Classroom, and that's the code. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you to all the students who have written and submitted fist bumps. Something new that Spartan Pride is doing is awarding teacher fist bump winners. Write a fist bump in your te to a teacher and they could win a prize. Here are some of our winners from last week. Mrs. Corbett, Mr. Ezzo, Mrs. Karochi, Mrs. Trudeau, Mrs. Baker, Mr. Ward, Mrs. Mitiga, and Mrs. Davis. We are introducing a new segment here at Spartan News that highlights students who are not normally highlighted for their various achievements and goals. Starting off, we have an interview with Gideon. Hey, this is Amari. Welcome to uh, Life in This Body. Today we have... Gideon, here. <laughs> Gideon, all right, we're gonna jump right into it. Yeah. Uh, who are you? Well, Gideon, once again, <laughs> six foot, tall guy, dreads, probably see me walking around, mm. all that. All right, uh, where'd you grow up? Uh, so me, I grew up in the Syracuse City School District by Nottingham, and uh, yeah, most of my friends are over there. I actually am a transfer to this school district. Okay. Do you think that affects like how people look at you or anything? It's kind of hard to say, but it's definitely like I will say it was uh, hard for me to like really assimilate, or maybe like to make friends. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Because when you grow up in like in the city, yeah, it's really a shift trying to adjust the way people talk over here. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing I'll say that was like pretty hard. It's okay. something that really took me maybe like three years to get used to. And yeah. even then, like you might see me kind of like alone sometimes. Yeah, I don't yeah. really talk to anybody. That's part of the reason. Okay. Yeah. I was very dependent on my friend group. Mm -hmm. back in the city yeah i didn't really have a sense of self mm -hmm. I, I identified like with things that were around me mm -hmm. whether it was the way people act right whether it was like sports and the thing with that is i never really liked sports like that that was always my brother so another thing is i have my brother Jaden. right yeah, yeah. he plays basketball he's really good mm -hmm. i always sucked <laughs> i always sucked so um it was very weird when people expected me to play basketball too because yeah, yeah, yeah. i thought when i went to esm i'd have to get away from that uh -huh. so that was also one of the reasons i came to esm because i was running away from that like identity that was like assigned on okay. me
As you can see behind me, there's a lot of green coming through Syracuse, and this all is rain, so we're gonna have a pretty rainy couple of days. Um, Today we will have a high of 49 degrees and a low of 35 degrees, and tomorrow we'll have a high of 46 degrees and a low of 31 degrees. In a couple of weeks, EMSM will be holding an event called Spartan Palooza. Now, what is Spartan Palooza? Well, here's a video on more information. Do you have plans for April 8th? Of course I do. It's the last day of school before break starts. I plan to be here. I do as well, but did you know that we will actually have an adjusted schedule? So the first couple hours will be Spartan Palooza, a celebration of culture and community. No, I had no idea. That sounds like a lot of fun though. What kind of things will be happening that day? We will have four different locations. In one area, we will have culture displays and treats. In two other areas, there will be wellness activities. And finally, in the auditorium, we will have a cultural fashion show. Whoa, that sounds like a lot of fun. Really amazing experience, though. How can I get involved? If you would like to display something about your culture or represent traditional attire from your country, we would love to have you as part of this. How can I sign up if that sounds like something I'd like to do? Sign up by filling out the Google form by scanning the QR code below. We will also send the link to the form by Parent and Student Square in the coming days. Sounds great. I hope we can have a lot of different cultures represented. I can't wait to learn about everyone. See Mrs. Ward in the main office if you have any questions. We can't wait. Thank you for your support. Madness struck again last night as two number one seeds lost to number one, oh, including the number one overall seed, Gonzaga. The Bulldogs lost to fourth ranked Arkansas, 74 to 68. Arizona lost to fifth ranked Houston, 72 to 60. The only one seed remaining is Kansas. Coach K's last ride continues as Duke beats Texas Tech, 78 to 73, to advance to the Elite Eight. The Kansas City has traded star wide receiver Tyreek Hill to the Miami Dolphins for a fifth draft pick. And the Dolphins gave Hill a four-year, $120 million extension. It makes him the highest paid player in the NFL history. I'm Leah Ram with your sports. Stay tuned for in the lineup of our shows, we have a student debt show coming up. That's all we have for you today um, from Todd and I and everyone here at The Morning Show. Have a fantastic Friday.